All right, so good morning, YouTube. So day two, um, just finished a nice, very Icelandic European uh, coffee shop. Um, cut to photos of it. Cut to f video cut to of photos. that. Or video, yeah. Yeah, there we go. I'd like to apologize for the vlog yesterday. Um, we were all exhausted and there were several shots that uh, I was zoomed in way too far on accidentally. So it's just like my nose talking. So I decided not to include those yesterday. Today will be better. Oh God, B. We can't find the grocery store anywhere. Here we go. 24 seven. So sorry. This water is is three hundred ninety nine dollars for this water. Three hundred ninety nine dollars. Jeez. Must be worth water. Four hundred forty nine. That's too much. Disappointed. I'm gonna put it back. Nice place, nice place. Just learned how to say thank you in Icelandic. Icelandish. Icelandish. It's tak. Okay. Tak. We're signing a petition against whaling. This is Jessica, right? <laughs> What's your name? Uh, call me Lee. It's just Lee. Fun. Call me Lee. And you were? Matilda van den Berg. Matilda. Yes. Ah. He's signing right now. To end. It was elephants Whaling. or whale? whales? Whales. Well, whales. It's whales. Yeah, whales. Elephants in Iceland, so. Elephants in Iceland, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, uh, oh, you already so got 96,000? Yeah, Whoa. Yeah. Dollars? I picked the wrong code. Dollars? Yeah. No, just um, numbers. Numbers. Oh. Does he have numbers? 96,000. His numbers. No, his his phone number. Okay, oh. should I sign? Oh. Okay. You want me to sign? Uh -huh. Okay. China. Yeah. So we know people from China at our school. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. I was just like, I want to go to Iceland. Do you know, um, wheels, what's his name? Maybe. What's yeah. his name? Meyer. Do you know Meyer? So Meyer? Yes. Here? He's also from China. You might okay. know him. How long are you Miss Famous? Uh, what? Is, is she or he famous? famous? Uh, no. Oh, got here um, yesterday, I mean, no. no China's no, large, okay. I guess. Yeah. yeah. So, this Iceland is beautiful and all, but we just found out they ate, they eat dogs here. They eat chihuahuas. Uh, <laughs> this water's doing really weird things to my hair. I don't know what to... <sighs> How about you shave your head? <sighs> Let's do it. All right, off to rent a car. Off to rent a car. We're still in Iceland, nothing's changed, but we did find the world's coolest and most dangerous playground. I'm, I feel unsafe. This whole thing's made out of scrap right, look wood look and look nails. This. Oh, stick. It's. This is it's not safe the, uh, for children. It's called the, the Labyrinth of Tetanus. Labyrinth of tetanus right here. All two inches of fun. Your foot? Will it be in your foot? Or your head? You decide. Parents do not bring your children here. An embassy. I want to For all of you out there that are doing good things, like starting high school clubs and like, you know, investing in like the stock market, this guy's starting a country. <laughs> so. Right. And he could start a whole new country. And if you can start a new country, you can redefine on how society works. So what are you going to do with the political system or with the economical system or things like that. Um, but the thing is that we don't know how to do that. So we're trying to collect all kinds of ideas over here at this embassy. Like normally you would have an embassy for a country that already exists. And 
we present the country in other countries. Uh, we do that other way, other way around. So we trying to start this embassy to collect ideas to make this country possible. Awesome. That was cool. Yeah, I, I don't know how you start your own country in a pile of wood and rocks, but yeah. He's, he's literally trying to start his own country. He said he's trying think, to start it on like a rock. I think he's with like an organization, but right. I like how he was just chilling there. <laughs> yeah, he was just chilling there. That was their embassy. So like, I wouldn't feel safe there. But. You know what just happened? We just nothing is what happened. Nothing what happened. happened. We just waited. We just truck wait. Two people cut us in line and just got away with it because they didn't speak the language. Um, and then we wait for an hour and a half. We get up there and they're like. Oh, we have no cars. You'll have to book in advance. How do we know that? We didn't know we were going to rent a car till today. We just spent an hour and a half waiting for a car that doesn't exist. And every other place is booked too. So now we might rent. We might rent some, uh, wait, focusing. Rock smash holes. Plan B. Put in the comments section below if you've ever rented a rock smash hole before. The guy's still over there trying to start a country. Good for him, right? Starting his own country. He's even got a navy. Iceland is a great country. It really is. It's beautiful and very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice people. No, 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 no that's the thing no. though. There's that's not the, thing. the people are not nice here. They hate us. They they we just went into a car rental place and I walked up the stairs, which was weird that there were stairs. Like it was upstairs and I went up and I was like, "Yeah, hi. You guys rent cars?" And she was like, "Yes." And I was like, "Okay, do you guys have one available?" And she said, "I don't know." And looked back down to what she was doing. And I was like, well, and she was like, I don't know if I have a car, especially not the cheap one. The one we have is really old and very expensive. It's like their sign, keep in mind, said friendly, nice. Yeah. And she wasn't. She wasn't. And then we went back down and we saw a sign outside of the same place that said fun to ride segways. So I went back up and I'm like, you guys rent fun to ride segways? And she was like, yes. And I was like, do you have them available? And she's like, go down the stairs. I'm just here to help. That doesn't make sense at all. Quick stop for lunch. We're getting peanut some butter. peanut butter. We're getting some bread. peanut butter. We're getting some peanut butter bread, crunchy peanut butter. Um, some pat. Can I just, can I just do one? This is really fun today. One thing about Iceland um, that we've noticed the names of everything is are unnecessarily long. Like right here, the street name. Wow. I bet they were bummed Dude. after they made the language and then saw like what English words we used. They made it way more complicated than necessary. Like damn. Like shoot. Uh, we could have used the word toilet, but instead we used naka shaka naka. So we know that it's kind of hard for you guys probably at home looking at these street signs and everything to know what they are, know how to pronounce them. So we're going to help you out. We're going to go around and just kind of give you some pronunciation tips for uh, some Icelandic pronunciation tips. So uh, yeah, roll the music. Here we go. Adults don't like you to get a hammer and a in glove strategy. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got, got it. it. Yes, freeze. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Okay, you got it. Wait, move up a little bit. Up Towards little, you? Your hands up a little bit. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And yeah. Squeeze it, pinch it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got it. Boyfriend, just like me. Yes, you're a boy with broken dreams. He's a master of puppets. He won't make you dance if you let him. All right, we're here, we're at the Bean. Um, all those, thought we'd take a visit, get a picture in front of the Bean. It's pretty cool. Um, smaller than I thought, than it looks on other pictures. Also, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't I didn't really know it was here in Iceland, but. So we're at a bar. Okay, we're at a, we're at a bar thing, but it's the best. It has to be one of the best. Ambiance, 
view bar in Iceland. Look at this. On a two table patio. Two table patio. Two table patio. This thing has a grass roof. Yeah, you can't see, but this is glass. And below us, grass. Grass. Roof. Oh, yeah, grass roof. We've got a grass roof over here. Pretty dull. Okay, this isn't as good as we said. It's actually really. It's terrible. It's really hot out here. It's. I want to go home. I think I'm going to cry. Um. We moved inside. Michael was uh, was scared of a bee, of a bumblebee. Dude, it was okay. No, 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 no. No, that thing had a stinger the size of my pinky. Dude. It was like this. George, we were sitting there, and all of a sudden, this little uh, bumblebee comes up. It and was a stinging bee. It was a little bumblebee, and it came up to Michael, and um, it came up to me. I hit it down, and it came up to Dude, Michael. Okay, no, 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 no. You hit it towards me with your hand. So I got up because I didn't want to die. What happened when you got up, Michael? Okay, I think there should be a little backstory here. So I was running in a yard frolicking as kids do. Uh, and little me, little old me, ran through a, a uh, ground hornet's nest. I don't know if that's a thing. 20 hornets come up to me, don't even introduce themselves, and just. I was scarred. And that's why I flipped the. Flip the, flip the crap out. Um, the people next to us left because they got annoyed. <laughs> uh, I almost spilled three beers and destroyed two very expensive cameras, including the one that's being filmed on this. True story. Alright, we're here. We're live. We're in front of the Iceland Moose. It's a famous statue of a moose here in Iceland. Um, dates, it's something to do with Vikings and moose, um, mice, moose. I was just informed by an Iceland local that this isn't a moose, it is a Viking ship. Um, apparently the mistake is made a lot because it looks like a moose with a bunch of antlers, but um, just to kind of clear it up for the viewers at home, it's not a moose, it's a Viking ship and moose are not a significant part of Iceland's history. So just um, forget I said that, my bad. Ah. Okay, so all over Iceland, there's these, uh, you know, really classic touristy stores that, um, you know, it's kind of for the tourists and everything's just kind of like, you know, a souvenir or something like, I, like magnets with Iceland on it and stuff. We want to go to like a true authentic Iceland store, look around, uh, see what we can find. There's some souvenirs for the relatives. Right, so, uh, yeah, we found one. We're going to go in, just kind of see what they have here. Authentic Iceland. All right, so we're here in the authentic Iceland store. Um, oh my God, look at this. Yeah, like, oh, jeez, this, oh my God, this must be a fortune. It's a puffin made by, I don't even know, probably some famous Icelandic. Probably. This is all just art here. Like, look at this. Hand oh, painted. Careful. Oh, sorry, sorry. Put that back. This is of a puffin, it looks like, with some sort of magnetic force back. So it actually, it'll actually, st it'll, it'll, a all right. Even the people here are really locally haven't seen cameras really before. Um, so it's kind of, this is very new to them. You can just tell. Oh, hello. We're, uh, we're doing for that. What? Oh. Now just walking around and uh, getting ready. We have a 4 a.m. No, we have to wake up at 4 a.m. tomorrow. We have a flight at 7.20 a.m. So um, it's gonna be rough. So we're gonna call it early tonight, but last night in Iceland. Last night. 